I think art collaborates with life and a building is the most perfect example of that. You can't actually walk into a painting except in your imagination, but you can walk into a building like the Roby House. I was a teacher who built a lot of my curriculum each year around the interests of kids. I was teaching third grade one year and I had a group of kids who were interested in architecture, so of course I thought about the Roby House, and I actually did not know much about Frank Lloyd Wright's prairie style period at that time. So I learned with my class. When you look at the Roby House, you understand that the Roby House is giving you a language, a visual design language. And kids, to my great interest, understand Frank Lloyd Wright's language very easily, almost in a nonverbal way. They were looking at the ceilings and the rugs and the floor design and the structure of the house itself. I learned from that 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 language is very accessible to children as well as to adults. I think architecture is ideal for teaching children, actually, because it always involves a certain degree of design, art, persuasive thinking, and mathematics. And when I looked carefully at the Roby House, I thought, my gosh, it's all here. The stories are here, the math is here, the art is here, this is it. One of the magical things is that it has no wall that keeps you out. I mean, you feel as though the house is sitting with an amazing degree of comfort in juxtapositions to gorgeous big new buildings. It's sitting with comfort even though it is such a different kind of structure. If you look closely, you see something fascinating. You see a story embodied in architecture or at least embedded within it.